This week, at the Chateau, we find out if Tracy and Tony get a digger to help with the cottage floor. Work continues in the Chateau, on the west side chimney, and the new flue liners are fitted. Plus, Tracy discovers an original feature hidden away. My name is Terry, and with my partner Ash, Mum Tracy, Dad Tony, and nephew Jonathan, we are leaving our hometown of Middlesbrough for a new life in France. To restore this beautiful 18th century castle. From living in caravans during winter, to tackling years of neglect, keeping her dry, discovering more about its past, and bringing it back to its former glory. Not forgetting Louis, Sasha, and Patrick. This is Chateau de La Lasalle. So here in the salon, we were thinking about hiring a little mini digger to uh, try and take some of the load off us. But um, when we checked the prices, they were uh, a little bit too much, really, weren't they? So it's money that could be spent some bit somewhere else, really. So what we're going to do is just get the breaker out and and dig up this loose stuff. Um, hopefully, we won't find too many problems under here. And um, bad back time, I'm afraid, mm -hmm. my love. Yep. Well. One bonus is we've saved on gym fees. <laughs> now, the back break and work starts for Tracy and Tony. Breaking up and digging up tons of earth. As the original terracotta tiles were just laid on top of the soil, winters could be a little chilly. So Tracy and Tony have decided to fit a layer of insulation to help keep them warm during the colder months. With a little help from Jonathan and his trusty wheelbarrow,
Little Jonathan is working away to help Nana and Grandad, so hopefully they can move in by Christmas. So this little pile is uh, just a fraction of the, uh, the stuff that we've been pulling out the floor. As you can see, it wasn't built with pebbles. So just get these shifted and uh, get the last bit of floor finished and uh, then we're ready to start checking levels and stuff in here. Well, the salon and lobby floors are, are uh, down to the right levels now, so the next thing to do is to, uh, is to go to the local hardware place and, and pick up some insulation. I know the thicknesses that we need and uh, I also know the floor areas, so it's just a case of matching what they've got in stock with, uh, with what we need. Um, I've had a quick look online and, and stock levels look a bit patchy, so we might be, we, we might be doing a little bit of mix and matching. We'll see what they've got though. Um, probably won't be able to get it all in one load because of the uh, the size and the, and the bulk of it. So it could be a trip in the morning just to get the, the rest of the bits and pieces. Um, anyway, off we go and we'll, we'll see how we get on. just came back from Brickle Depot in Allenstown 
so I took and um, he's got loads of polystyrene because he told me so I already know but I haven't salmon how much and what we're going to use it for we're going to use it for the we're going to use it for the floor in the cottage so that it's nice and warm in winter yeah so it's nice and warm in winter and hopefully we'll have it done by Christmas December by probably probably about September maybe <laughs> along. and then the cut and then the shuttle will be probably done by next next year 20 years, 20 years. Let's see the so we'll see the polystyrene and I'll be surprised right let's see how much I've got then let's see how much you need. I'm not I'm not knocking. <laughs> How would you do that? I'm going in. I'm going to count them out. So while I've been on a little bit of a shopping trip this weekend, uh, Tracy's decided to have a, a bit more of a look at these uh, central features that we've got in the front of the Chateau Garden. Um, we had a visitor uh, not too long ago, uh, an old lady who's, uh, whose family used to live here and work here, and um, she told us that originally they were used as water storage um, areas and the water actually was fed down from the well in the top field and, uh, and it was stored in these two containers on the front. Um, last year when, when we came over for a look, Tracy actually had a little bit of a poke about and, and revealed one of the stones. So we guessed it was a, a stone wall um, structure and, uh, and so Tracy being Tracy, she decided that um, rather than sit around and watch a bit of TV or something, she was going to get the spade back out and... Um, and Start and digging. Here we go. Again. Yeah, <laughs> floating for punishment. So, um, mm -hmm. so picked a random spot and here we are. Start digging. Digging for, digging for France. Yep. So hopefully we're going to get some aerial shots when it's all uncovered, which will show it better, the, the size of it and... And when it's, we're going to give it a little jet wash, aren't we? Wash all the mud off a little bit just to uncover some yeah. of the stones, we'll see what it looks like. Expose the wall mm -hmm. and um, mm -hmm. and uh, do a little bit of time team stuff. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I found some already. <laughs> and then in the future, I think Terry's looking at maybe is a nice fountain. Yeah, in I'm here, sure. Because there's two. We've got one here and one there. Yeah, um, matching ones. I'm sure there'll be uh, further discussions on that and. and uh, and a few family uh, meetings before uh, Terry gets his way.
So the only thing that we haven't really uh, decided as far as the salon um, goes here in the cottage is what to do with the store. Um, we were thinking about leaving it uh, and maybe swapping it for, for another stable door type um, type door but I think we, we've had a, a long hard think about it and I think we're both happier to uh, to actually block the bottom up and to uh, and to put another window in. It will give us some more light into the uh, into the salon and um, it will give us a bit more usable space inside as well. Uh, we don't really need two doors in. At some point I think the this room was split into two so it will need the double access but um, it's not something that we're going to plan in. So um, I think we're going to we're going to try and get it off. It's just hung on typical French hinges so hopefully it won't be too much of a chill to get it off. While we've been doing some prep over in the cottage to get the uh, concrete floors laid downstairs, um, over here in, in the chateau, uh, the boys have been beavering away on the second chimney, uh, second of the main chimneys, and um, again we've put two liners in. Uh, this one is up in the what's going to be the salon for the second suite on the first floor, and um, this was a real pain. The chimney itself has been repaired a couple of times in the past and um, was in very poor condition and uh, we, it was a real fight to, to actually get this liner in. I think it's safe to say that um, it's not going to fall out, that's for sure. Um, the route's quite convoluted and, um, and very tight. Uh, up top the, uh, the brickwork was in very poor condition and um, that's actually um, take some of the bricks away and then replace them um, after we got the liner in uh, just because there was there was a chance that they would just fall in and it was that bad so again timing's been good we've we've managed to do this uh, repair work just in time really um, really important that we got done this year if we'd left it till next year I think we'd have had a lot more problems um, especially if we'd seen some, uh, some really poor weather over the winter. So this is the second of the lines we put in the second chimney and um, down here in the dining room the route was a little bit more direct but um, 
it was there was quite a few things blocking the blocking the road um, and uh, we haven't quite tied it up yet so as you can see there was, there was quite a lot of debris came down and um, and at the moment the, the line is just in temporary while we make the, the final repairs up top and, and get things prepared for getting the, fi the line of fixings all uh, located um, so at the moment it's just propped up in place um, this one um, you say was wasn't as tricky as the one upstairs but there was so much stuff in here that had to be knocked down first uh, it, it was a, a bit of a beggar of a job to be honest and uh, the boys have done a great job of, of clearing this out and, uh, and getting the liners in Well, another couple of busy weeks, my love. We've been uh, making some great progress over in the cottage now. Um, we've got uh, the floors dug up mm -hmm. in the salon, the lobby and in the bathroom. Um, measured up and, and, and been to get all of the insulation ready to put that down. And the, uh, and the door that we weren't sure what to do with. It's now is, out. It's going to be a window. Out. Yeah. So that's out as well. I think that'll be far better as a window than yeah. just bricking it up as a door. Yeah, I, um, I think more light in there is always only going to be a bonus. More and, space. Um, it makes us more space inside, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So uh, next thing really is to, is to crack on getting that floor, those floors down. Yeah. Um, obviously that wasn't enough dug it, digging for you this week, no. so... <laughs> So while I went off shopping, I came back and found a, a big hole in the middle of the garden and Tracy got bored and started exposing the wall. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We, um, well, we were, we've seen them there, haven't we? They were there when we came to visit last time and wondered what they were. We've seen a few pictures of a little bit of it, so but I had to find out what was in there. Um, yeah. So I started digging and just kept going and going. Yeah, Australia can't be that much mm. further. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, they're interesting features because mm. I initially thought they were round, but they're actually an oval, oval. shape and, um, and and quite deep. Uh, uh, was an old lady who came to visit a few weeks ago, and she had a little chat and explained a few things that we hadn't realised about the place. And there apparently were or some sort of storage ponds. Um, for when there was livestock in the front field mm. and uh, they were fed all the way uh, from the well uh, in the top field by the by the allotment uh, garden but I think we're gonna just re we're gonna just put some maybe some features in I think Terry's looking now at some fountains to go in because there is two there so we'll have matching fountains mm. I don't know how big Terry Beanie Terry probably um, whatever whatever from... scale you think of, <laughs> Terry will have ten times in mind. something out of Trafalgar Square or yeah. something. But yeah, I think maybe his two fountains would be good in there for the future. But I'll just keep digging. <laughs> and uh, and then of course over over here in the uh, in the chateau, um, we've uh, been concentrating on getting the the second of the. The main chimneys uh, repaired, and we've got as far as uh, getting the two liners in for the uh, for the flues down to the uh, dining room and, mm. and to what's going to be the salon for the second apartment up on the first floor. So a really uh, really productive week really, uh, or a couple of weeks, and mm. um, I don't think it's going to let up, is it? I think we've got another couple no, of busy coming. A few more weeks, and you get rid of me for a little bit. Yeah, um, but I'll keep them busy. For a couple of more weeks um, and our next step is really to get the cement down get the floor down then that's going to make us watertight ready for the winter so we'll have one room for the winter to stay mm, in we'll see, we, uh, yeah. we'll see um, how far we get on 
we'll have one room for the winter. Oh, it could be two <laughs> or three, we'll see. And get some, some wiring in within the next month, probably. Not wire it up, but wiring in. Yeah, well, we'll, get the, the we'll put month. the conduit in with the floors and then see how mm. that goes. Mm-hmm. Might be job done. Right, so I hope you've enjoyed this week's video. Um, we certainly enjoyed mo most of it, especially the digging. Yeah. <laughs> and um, if you have, please like and share and, uh, and subscribe to the channel. Details should be on the screen below us now.